Okay, so Silk Road's Caravan Kings came out October 1st. It's been out for almost a couple weeks here. We got um, made by Priory Games. Uh, you follow the footsteps of Marco Polo on a journey into Cathay. So it's a riches and adventure. Basically, it's like a little Oregon, it's like an Oregon Trail kind of thing where we've got a, um, you know, uh, collect your goods, sail east, and um, sort, sort of like a, a, a um, story driven or like a narrative, narrative adventure game, I suppose. I don't know. I can't think of how what to call this thing. But there you go. It's a trading sim. Medieval trading sim. Maybe that's a good way of, of calling it. Um, let's go. Settings. Uh, display. That's not what I want. How about that one? Excuse me? Okay, there we go. Didn't change any. Can you hear it any? <clears throat> okay, so, um, let's see how it goes. New game. All over my game. I did play this a little bit. I played this. I mentioned I was going to do a video on this. I played it a little bit a while back, and then I wasn't able to record it. So I, um, well, here we are. The bearer of this note is owed 11 silk, or the equivalent value of the time of the delivery, which is not to exceed the month of December in the year of our Lord 1275. In exchange for the sum of 1034 ducats, shall be made available upon the signature of this. Yada, yada, yada. Sign here. My name is Nook. Thanks, Marmello. No more pigs in space. Sorry. Uh, with your mark made on the contract, your debt or your debtor hands you the money. More money than you've ever seen. You quickly head off for supplies, purchasing traveling equipment and dried foods. Supplies in hand, you head to the docks in search of fortune, intent on joining a merchant ship headed for the east. Where were you headed again? So we can go to Constantinople or to Acre in the far east. Any requests? Where would you like to go? We can go to... Um, well, we can see the steps are great open plains, huge distances between cities of tents, local produce, or furs and pack animals. We go to Acker, which has Holy Land's gateway to the east. Land is densely populated with short journeys between cities, but that does not make them any safer. Local goods are ivory. We gotta go far east. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta go. <clears throat> see ya, Philippe. Alright, away we go. So, we got a little bit of a tutorial thing here. Um, I'll, I'll go through it, just make sure I know what I'm, remember what I'm doing here. But we got um, food up there. I hit skip, didn't I? <laughs> okay, we got food up there. <laughs> food, gold, uh, camels, which helps us carry things. We have our, our stuff we're carrying in our bag there. We only carry so many supplies. Uh, that is our health of our crew, and that is the morale of our crew. And we have a book down there, which gives us um, the, uh, the journal, basically. Captain has asked the merchants aboard the vessel to attend his cabin this evening for a fine dinner. It would be a great place to be seen as well as a fine meal. Good place to network. Uh, we'll, we'll go eat. Just up in the uh, best finery, you can scramble together and join the other merchants in the captain's cabin. Table setting is an odd blend of fine goods, but you have little care as they bring out the first chicken. A they bring out the first chicken. You have little care as they bring out the first chicken you have seen since leaving land. You can scarcely contain yourself in the mismatching cutlery as you dig in. A delicious chicken gives me a bit of health and a little less faith for some reason. So we have uh, relations that will deal with this along the way. Uh, depending on what happens in the events. Um, we also have intelligence, endurance, agility, and strength, which changes as we go. Um, our inventory, there's the stuff we've got in our pack right now. Most of it is just supplies, as you can see. It's all supplies. And uh, there's my contract. Okay. Away we go. Down the Adriatic to the east. We ate some, some bread there. He drizzed it. How's it going? Captain asks the merchants aboard the vessel to attend his cabin again. Uh, again? Alright. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the same thing again. Okay. It's random, obviously. Um, and we got another one. Sorry, uh, laugh. Uh, away is a bit of a... I think Robert Burke's a little behind. Away is a bit of drama. Typical, everything goes wrong. Space show is definitely worse. How they pro Oh, don't spoil things for me, Robert. Uh, though the galleys may be... Venetian, the crew is a smattering of other cultures. It may be of some use for our journey to acclimate yourself to these people and their ways. Talk to the Saracen, the Tartar, the Latins. What, let's chat with a, with a Saracen. Looks at you with suspicion as he does with all the Venetians who spit on him as they pass. His demeanor softens when you try speaking the Turkish tongue. He corrects your pronunciation and you share brief chats between his duties below. He's not all bad. Hey, there we go. Excellent. 
the uh, the the uh, Muslims like us a little more. <clears throat> okay, just sit back and uh, wait for the ship flying. The hated Genoese flag has been spotted on the horizon. Though your republics are in a time of peace, there is no doubt that the vile Genoans would resort to piracy. You must prepare for such event. Um, ready yourself for battle. Equip yourself for a, with a disused bow and pan for armor and prepare yourself for the battle ahead. You steal your nerves and ignore the laughter of the shipmates. What? Some time passes with you frozen in battle position when the captain announces that the ship has passed. Why are they laughing at me? It's pro I probably scared them off. Yeah, it was probably me. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, the livestream's Tau Seti. You can always find these on... Uh, oh, hey. Hey, Tau Seti, by the way. Um... I will always have them on the Twitch stream um, for the next couple weeks or whatever. And then I'll, I'll, these will be split up and put into uh, onto YouTube eventually. Said to bring good luck and cer certainly the bringer of fewer pests. It is no wonder that, the dairy, that near every ship has a cat of its own. The cat of your current vessel has taken quite the shine to you. The cat with capital C. The captain may be persuaded to part with it for a price. Oh, can I have a cat? Oh, 15. Yeah. Give me a cat. He seems to think you're offer for a while. Before long, he takes the coins from you, reasoning he can't split up such a partnership. He promises that the furry sailor will be relieved of duty at the next port. Hey, hey, I got a cat! All right. Where is it? I got a cat. A cat and a bow. All right. Excellent. All right, welcome to Ocker. Okay. Um, Let's rest, I suppose. Rest for a week. No, no, no. Maybe not. Not yet. Let's take a look at the market. I suppose we can buy some things. Let's buy a little bit of silk and restock ourselves. Okay. Uh, is that all we do? Let's go there. Okay. Uh, they sell camels for merchants for two seventy-two. I'll buy a per yeah. I'll buy a camel. That helps us. We can hold sixty now. Strap for cash. You can always spend a month in the city for seventy ducats. No, let's let's travel. Find a caravan leaving for Baghdad. They say that the journey is twenty-three days, requiring four pounds of supplies. Let's do it. Okay, away we go. Equipment cat. <laughs> From little pieces of evidence such as droppings and broken branches, you have discerned that your campsite is nearby a deer or similarly large animal. Such an animal is skittish and hard to take down, but you can spend your evening trying. Yeah, I'm staying up late looking. Don't rest until you find it. Yeah. You're up all night combing the area for any animal track marks trying to deduce its movements. All you find are mere track marks and some tufts of fur, but no deer. Must be long gone by now. Oh dear. What's up? What changed up here? Anything? Fifteen ducats for a cat I got ripped. <laughs> Probably. I don't think so. I don't think there's any way of speeding this up. It's you know kind of slow going here. Caravans are all a mixture of cultures from across the Silk Road. Spending so long around such a mixed group of people, you begin to pick your words, pick up words or even phrases if they're said often enough. Just a little more effort, you might be able to string a few sentences together. Which language do you choose, though? The language of horses? Uh, the Saracens, the Indians, or the Chinese? Let's go Saracen. That's where we are, right? You find your proposal interesting, not amusing. Over the next week, you walk with them, dine with them, carry out every conversation in pure Arabic. You're not sure if it's the tense or the sentence structure, but your tongue just can't hack it. At least they found you funny. Ah, come on now. That's not nice. And then we sit, and we wait, and we we trek. Shoes crafted with the leather of a giant snake, which never wore out. A crystal ball that reveals your future, a cure for all that ails you. A magician from a far-off land is plying his trade along the road, selling all sorts of dark artifacts for five ducats apiece. I want boots, a crystal ball. I want everything. Give me them boots. Practically snatch your new miracle boots out of the magician's hands. No more limping along with a hole in your shoe until you make it to the next city. Excellent. Yeah. I'm a little more happy. I'm a little more something. What was that one? I'm a little more... Agility, maybe? My walk speed maybe went up? Language of horses. Nay. Oh, boo. Oh, boo. Yeah, Void Eclipse is, it wasn't in the pool, because I'm going to play Void Eclipse tonight. Uh, that one wasn't on the, uh, wasn't on the agenda, or wasn't on the Bodhi list. 
Some of your less civilized traveling companions have seemingly decided to make an offering to their gods, or is it the spirits? Maybe their ancestors. Either way, they have been chanting and crisping a chicken since before sunrise, and your patience and your patience is beginning to wear thin. It's wearing extra thin, apparently. Are you going to eat that? Your companions are seemingly stunned into a blessed silence as you reach between them and pull off a leg. The worshippers are clearly infuriated at you and shout you down as you return to your cargo. My favorite. Who is that? The, uh, the Tengri? Tengri? I don't know what that is. <clears throat> uh, loved music and cats are the way to the Hindi emperor heart. Thanks, Marmelo. Up ahead, there's a spot of well-populated by other travelers. The region offers little in the way of wildlife and foliage in this otherwise arid spot lay several hot springs. According to your companions, it's said to be able to heal any injury. Bath time! Strip down to your essentials and dip your foot into the steaming water. You let an involuntary sigh of relief as you slip deep into the water and die. Barely noticing the men around you, you lounge around in the hot water for hours until your skin has thoroughly pruned. Well, I'm feeling good. Yeah, I'm very joyous. Very strong as well. The Tangri are step nomad religions. Oh. Thanks, Perfect Hef. In this part of the world, it's apparently customary to take to the rubbing of one's body with hands for medicine and pain relief. You've heard that the procedure built before, but it's now being offered to you for a small fee. I mean, I feel fine. I don't know. Too hedonistic for me. Keep your paws to yourself. The whole procedure just sounds a bit too much like something that pagans would come up with. Besides, who in the right mind would pay good money to be battered by fingers? Foolishness. Thanks, Marmelo. Yeah, we're, Void Eclipse next time. We'll do Void Eclipse next. We'll go about... We, we'll, we're going uh, We're going future. Um, we're going map past. Well, not really future, I guess, with Space Race. Emotions seem to have boiled over in the caravan. And for once, you aren't involved. What started out... What do you mean, for once, I'm not involved? Started out as a normal argument over the proximity of a Saracen's camel to a Tartar's has exploded into a full-blown fist fight. Five ducats on the Saracen. Tartar in your group is quick to take your bet. Confident in his man's ability to fight, meaty slaps of bare knuckles against weather skin and chiseled muscles make you feel very every every punch. You seem equally matched, but the Saracen is tiring. Tiring. Finally, the Tartar delivers a knockout, knockout blow to the head. Oh, I lost. But we're almost to Baghdad. I guess I probably should have bought some supplies before here. Right, I'm a trader, and I didn't bring any supplies to Baghdad. We gotta go to the mountains. We got plenty of food still. If you spill salt, you must throw a pinch over your shoulder. Sneezing before work is bad. Bad luck. Don't eat yellow snow. List of superstitions that traders hold are endless. Any downturn in fortune is being blamed on your inability to hold these rules. Perhaps you should entertain these pagan ideas. Yeah, we'll follow along. Study these superstitions like the Bible. You are the first to bless someone if they sneeze and knock on wood almost any time you speak. It's fair to say that these are the you are the luckiest man around. Sure. All right, welcome to Baghdad. Winding your business, one day a man barges into you. Not a moment later, you see the member of the local militia tackle him to the ground. Still thinking that this land is tight on manners, you realize that the man the guard is holding is a little more than a boy. The boy has your bag. Woe the vanquished. Woe to the vanquished. Uh, he's just a kid. No, we'll be nice. Explain to the militia man that uh, you had hired the boy as your servant and that he had stumbled doing his duties rather than run away with your bag. He doesn't seem to believe you, but with the guard distracted, the boy drops your bag and runs into the crowd. Wait. Look at that. See, so you were a good guy. Now, welcome to Baghdad. All right. Um, market? So, yeah, we've got to buy things here, I guess, right? Our whole point... I don't know what... I didn't see prices here before. But I guess we got to make some cash. Um, silk is expensive. 96. Wait. Wow, that's expensive. Spend all my money on silk if I want to. Um, okay, that that's. Is that, I don't want seven. I want just one. There we go. Um, let's buy. Let's buy five silk. I, did, 
I don't know. I don't know how it works. Maybe we shouldn't do silk because it's expensive. Maybe we should do. Wait, ivory was. We know ivory was cheap in the east, like far east, right? So maybe we should buy furs now. And then let's just load up on furs. Silk in China and and ivory, yeah. No more. We got one of those already. We can rest for a week, but I think everyone's fine. We can work if we need to, but we don't need to. We hunter ducats, we're fine. Let's travel. Four pounds of supplies. Let's go. We're going to Tehran. Okay. Spices in India. It's summertime. Sun is peering out from the clouds after a full day of heavy rain. Off in the distance, you can see just about to make out a rainbow, a sign of the covenant that God made with Noah. You're filled with joy at the sight. Um, yeah, let's tell everyone about it. Your fellow companions listen, but do not seem convinced. A tartar just goes so far as to say that it's in fact a bridge to the heavenly world. The Hindu claims that their war god uses rainbows as a bow for his lightning arrows. The Cathar mentions something about dragons. I want to hear about this dragon one. All right, let's go to Tehran. Resting in a roadside tavern above the general din of the travelers and locals, you hear the faint sound of music. You rise from your bench, finding yourself drawn towards the sweet sounds of the plucked strings. Discovering the tavern's keeper's daughter with a lute. Oh. Let's listen for a while. You stop your drinking and listen for a while to the careful plucking of the chords. The daughter blushes from your attention, but you scarcely notice that the, as, the foreign, as the foreign yet familiar music lulls you into thinking of home. Hours pass before you quickly return quietly to your camp. That's sweet music. Okay. Yeah, spice trade. Big time. <laughs> Two scratch with leather from the giant snake. Oh, same person again. Um, yeah, give me that crystal ball. Grab the crystal ball and begin to peer into it. After a few hours, you swear that if you hold it against the firelight, just the right angle, move your hands over it, you can make out some shadows from your future. Will I be rich? Well, tell me. Thanks, Marmello. Marmello, you're extra, extra kind tonight. Thank you. Merchants' boots are a uh, merchant's lifeblood. Most merchants are more cobbler than marketeer. I got some nice snakeskin boots, though. At least the successful ones are you, when your boots are... So when your boots are off-colored scraps of leather wear, you had another hole, you think it might be time to visit the village cobbler. No, mine are fine. Mine are fine. You can weather a few more miles in these boots after all. Yeah. Plenty of time for boots later on. I got snake boots. I'm fine. Does that actually go in my inventory? That's like a one-time thing. Yeah, I just have my... What am I doing with my cat this whole time? Is my cat just like... Along for the ride. <laughs> uh, oh, look at this one again. <laughs> again. Give me that cure for the common cold, I guess. There we go. Place a tiny glass bottle at the bottom of your satchel. Take some time to make sh uh, make sure that nothing's going to damage it in your bag. Like my cat. But I accomplished it eventually. Okay. It's going up. It doesn't actually give me, like, a thing. It's not, a, it's not equipment. It's just a health boost. No, we asked the cat if he wanted to join. <laughs> Cairns are an ancient tradition uh, of the Silk Roads, and they line it from shore to shore. Every uh, They consist of stones gathered in a pile, almost like roadside shrines to trade. They help to signal to travelers that they are on the right path. Caravan stops to help reconstruct a cairn that has been knocked over. Nah, just leave it. Rub some dirt on your leg and tell the caravan master that you desperately need to find a doctor as your leg appears to have contracted the pox. What? You beg him and tell him that he can rebuild the cairn on the return journey. Took a little convincing as his eyes bulge at the side of your leg. Oh, I lied to the guy? He bought it. That's kind of strange. Why would I do that? Just say leave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the cat is the one riding the one camel you have. Yeah. Okay, we made it. We made it. Ooh, look at this place. So I can go trade with you now. Must pay a tax. Each trade good in your inventory, the amount owed is 10 ducats. All right, fine. Um, is that a good deal? Where was it? 37. Yeah, I bought it for 30, right? Hey, we made some cash. We made profits. 
Um, let's buy some, uh, I don't know, spices. Give me all your spices. Ten spices, please. And, um, not ivory. Ten spices. Got for cash, we can, we can, okay. Um, I think in the interest of seeing more things tonight, though, I want to, I want to move on to different games. But, um, there we go. Let's rest and see what happens. No, nothing. Let's work. Okay. And uh, now it's getting into autumn. We don't want to do that too much because then we'll be we'll be stuck. The next stop is going to be in Merv, which is another hike. What are we doing here? No. All right. Well. Um. Anyway. I think we've I think we've shown the game off enough, eh? You guys ready to move on to something else? This is um, Silk Road's Caravan Kings. Settles down for the night. You hear shouts. Well, last thing, shouts of glee and despair in foreign tongues. Upon investigation, you find a huddle of your fellow travelers playing a game of chance with dice. A few of your companions shuffle over to make some room for you to sit. No, I'll give me ten ten ducats. I'm in. Mumbling a quick prayer, you set down your large purse and begin to play. The crowd cheers and jeers with each roll. The game winds down shortly after sunset. And you find you've made a large profit. Nice. Nice. Excellent. All right. Let's move on to something else. So there is Silk Road's Caravan Kings. Uh, it's out now. It's been out since the first. And uh, if you buy it, give the poor guy a review. He's only got six of them. Poor guy. 